Ever wondered how Claire Redfield and Moira Burton ended up on a creepy island in Resident Evil? Revelations 2? Let's dive in. Our tale begins with Claire Redfield, a seasoned combatant against bioterrorism and a familiar face to us all. In a shocking twist, Claire is abducted from the heart of civilization and transported to a nightmarish island. Waking up disoriented and confused, she finds herself in the company of Moira Burton, another unfortunate soul caught in this web of mystery. Their captor, a shadowy figure known only as the Overseer, lurks in the background, pulling the strings of their fate. Her motives are unclear, her identity unknown. Claire and Moira, two strangers bound by their predicament, must navigate the horrors that await them. As they find themselves trapped, their fight for survival begins. Little did they know their nightmare had just begun. Cut to Barry Burton, who receives a distress call from his daughter, Moira. A desperate father's resolve solidifies as the static-filled message crackles through the line. Barry, a seasoned veteran of bioterror incidents and a former member of the elite STARS unit, wastes no time. He takes to the seas his destination, the same ominous, uncharted island where Claire and Moira find themselves imprisoned. Barry steps foot on the island, a place where dread hangs in the air like a thick fog. This is no ordinary rescue mission. The island is a cesspool of the grotesque and the monstrous, an unholy playground of bioterror experimentation. The once inhabited structures now house creatures that defy nature, victims of the T-Phobos virus that turns fear into a physical, horrifying reality. As Barry ventures further into the heart of the island, he stumbles upon evidence of the island's dark past. Abandoned research facilities whisper tales of illicit experiments of a virus let loose of fear harvested and weaponized. The chilling remnants of audio and video logs serve as a grim breadcrumb trail, leading Barry deeper into the belly of the beast. Barry's journey is not a solitary one. He encounters the monstrous inhabitants of the island, their grotesque forms a testament to the horrifying power of the T-Phobos virus. Each encounter is a fight for survival, a test of Barry's resolve, and a stark reminder of what's at stake, his daughter's life. But amidst the horror, there is hope. Barry discovers signs of Moira's presence, a discarded terror save jacket, a hastily scrawled message, these fragments of hope fuel Barry's determination, pushing him to face the unspeakable horrors that lurk around every corner. As Barry delves deeper, the island's horrifying truth unravels. The shadows of conspiracy, betrayal, and a desperate scientific ambition gone awry come to light. Yet, the mystery of the Overseer remains, her voice a chilling echo guiding Barry's every step. The stage is set for a father's desperate search, a journey through a landscape of horror to save his daughter from the clutches of a terrifying fate. Back to Claire and Moira, they're not having a vacation on this island. Far from sun-soaked beaches and tropical cocktails, they find themselves in a nightmare of monstrous proportions. The island isn't just a deserted landmass, it's a breeding ground for grotesque creatures, nightmarish experiments and unspeakable horrors. Among the shadows and the rotting infrastructure, they encounter the terrifying results of the T-Phobos virus, a sinister bioweapon developed by the Overseer. This virus doesn't just kill, it transforms its victims into horrifying abominations, creatures that are more nightmare than human. The virus thrives on fear, growing stronger as its victims' terror rises. This creates a chilling cyclical game of cat and mouse where the more frightened Claire and Moira become, the more dangerous their environment turns. But the island's terrors aren't limited to its monstrous inhabitants. The Overseer, a puppet master in the shadows, manipulates their every move, every path they take, every corner they turn. She's there, guiding their journey into the heart of darkness. She's not just a voice in their ear, she's the architect of their fear the creator of the nightmare that is their reality. Claire and Moira must navigate this labyrinth of terror, solving intricate puzzles and facing off against the island's monstrous creations. They're not just fighting for their lives, they're fighting against the creeping dread that threatens to consume them. Their struggle is as much mental as it is physical, a test of their will to survive against the odds. With every step, they inch closer to the truth, Yet danger lurks around every corner. The island is a maze of horror, with the overseer's voice echoing in their ears. 
reminding them of their impending doom. But Claire and Moira press on, their determination fueling their fight for survival in the face of the island's unspeakable terrors. Meanwhile, Barry stumbles upon a young girl, Natalia Corder. The plot thickens as we meet Natalia, a character shrouded in mystery. This little girl, seemingly out of place in this dystopian island, possesses unique abilities that set her apart. Natalia can sense the presence of the grotesque creatures lurking around, making her an invaluable scout in this horrific landscape. Her uncanny ability to perceive danger before it strikes gives Barry a fighting chance in his desperate search for Moira. But Natalia is not just a tool for survival. She's a character with her own backstory, her own fears and her own secrets. Her relationship with Barry evolves from that of a protector and a dependent to a bond of mutual trust and respect. Natalia's introduction adds a new layer to the narrative, blending innocence with the grim realities of the island. With Natalia at his side, Barry's search takes a new turn. Now they must navigate the horrors together, each reliant on the other's strength and resilience. As the plot thickens, our characters come face to face with the harsh reality. Claire and Moira, their bond strengthened by shared fear and determination, find each other amidst the chaos of the island. Their reunion, though filled with relief, is also tainted with the growing dread of the unknown. On the other side of the island, Barry Burton and Natalia Corder form an unlikely alliance. The grizzled veteran and the innocent child, both driven by their own desperate needs, Barry to find his daughter, and Natalia to survive the horrors around her. Their partnership, while unexpected, provides a glimmer of hope in the grim situation. But as our characters navigate the treacherous terrain, a darker truth comes to light. The overseer, the enigmatic voice guiding them, is revealed to be none other than Alex Wesker. The last of the Wesker children, Alex's history is steeped in bioterrorism and insidious experiments. Her connection to the T. Phobos virus and the horrific events on the island is a chilling reminder of the intertwined fates of our characters and the overarching narrative of the Resident Evil universe. This revelation, while shocking, is but a piece of the puzzle. The true horror lies in the Overseer's intentions. Alex Wesker's goal is not just survival, but the pursuit of immortality. Her twisted experiment, using fear to trigger the T. Phobos virus, is a gruesome testament to her ruthless ambition. With the truth out, they are left with no choice but to confront their fears. Claire, Moira, Barry and Natalia, their paths irrevocably intertwined, must face the terrifying reality of the situation. In the face of overwhelming odds, they must confront not just the physical monsters that roam the island, but also the psychological horrors that lurk within their own minds. In the heart of an abandoned oil rig, the final showdown unfolds. Claire, Moira, Barry and Natalia find themselves face to face with the Overseer. This confrontation marks the climax of a narrative woven with survival, fear and monstrous revelations. The Overseer's true intentions are laid bare as she reveals the full extent of her plans and the terrifying capabilities of the T. Phobos virus. The stakes are higher than ever. The oil rig, a chilling symbol of the island's forgotten past, becomes the arena for this high-stakes battle. Our characters must use every ounce of courage and every skill they've honed to challenge the Overseer. The tension is palpable as they fight not just for their own survival, but to prevent the spread of the T. Phobos virus. The horror of the island reaches its peak in this heart-stopping scene. With the fate of our characters hanging in the balance, the island's horrors reach their peak. As the dust settles, the survivors take a moment to reflect. The harrowing ordeal on the island has left an indelible mark on their lives. Claire Redfield, hardened by her experience, reaffirms her commitment to fighting bioterrorism. Moira Burton, having faced her deepest fears, emerges stronger and more resilient. Barry Burton, the concerned father, is relieved to have found his daughter. But the horrors he witnessed serve as a grim reminder of the persistent threat of bioterrorism. Natalia, the mysterious girl, remains an enigma, her future uncertain but her role in the story undeniable. The island, once a place of terror, now stands as a symbol of their survival and defiance against the grotesque monsters and the malevolent overseer. The echoes of their struggle still resonate, their experiences shaping their future actions. And so ends the harrowing tale of Resident Evil. Revelations 2, a blend of horror, survival and emotional storytelling.
Look, Moira. I know I should have let you have your space. It's okay. I gave you plenty of reasons to worry. You held your own out there, Moira. Of course she did. She's a fucking Burton. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's let these guys come in and clean up. So, what are you gonna do now, Barry? I'm gonna go back to being a father. <laughs>